Homer Simpson's advice on how to beat procrastination. You want to get out of your social anxiety jail, but can't gather, gather the courage to start. Or maybe you started, but couldn't muster enough willpower to continue. Homer Simpson said, all my life I've had one dream, to achieve my many goals. The problem arises that unless the task, such as consciously starting the war against social anxiety, that are planned for today is not met, tomorrow may become weeks or months or even years. Can you see that the longer the period becomes, the more you are being drawn into the procrastination trap, becoming more a dreamer of our dreams rather than an achiever of our dreams? That is why I call procrastination the devourer of dreams. The question to answer is, should I do something about my procrastination? If the consequences are affecting your life negatively, you should seriously consider improving the quality of your life by doing something about your procrastination. You're probably wondering, is there hope? Even if you think that you're a hopeless procrastinator, don't despair. No single one procrastinator is beyond help. Procrastination does not mean that you are lazy or inefficient. It is a habit that can be changed. Let's hear what Homer Simpson's ideas are on the subject. Homer Simpson said, if at first you don't succeed, give up. It is quite common to believe that ignoring a task will make it go away. Unfortunately, very negative results are the outcome of this tendency to delay things. It can lead to the abandonment of dreams, missed opportunities, and stalled projects, and even to the loss of morale. A few tips to get started. 1. Start with the most difficult part of the task first. Secondly, keep working on, on the project in small segments and give yourself a reward for each completed part. Thirdly, as you gain confidence, the task will become easier and more enjoyable. And then work on more pleasant and easier tasks in between. And remember, there is help available. Homer Simpson said, I'm not normally a praying man, but if you're up there, please save me, Superman. God is far superior to Superman, and he can and want to help you to become a procrastination-free superstar. What does the Bible say about procrastination? I'm just going to mention two verses. One is, the desire of the sluggard, that's a procrastinator, kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. And the next verse, for there is a time and a way for everything. But are you a procrastinator? Homer Simpson said, to start, press any key. But where, where is the any key? Test yourself against these statements. First one is, I generally answer emails and phone calls immediately. Or, I'm often doing jobs that I had planned to do days before. And, when faced with a difficult task, I usually wait until I'm ready to tackle it. Or, I generally take action the moment I have the required information. Next statement, I'm good completing tasks that I plan to do daily. Or, I usually complete jobs on time. Next one is, I try to delay starting tasks that I have to do. Or, I enjoy planning how to complete a large project. Or, I often say, I'll do it tomorrow. Are you a procrastinator? A procrastinator? How much say to the uh, about perfectionism? No, 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 Lisa. If adults don't like their jobs, they don't go on strike. They just go in every day and do a really half-assed job. Perfectionism 
often leads to procrastination because the perfectionists strive to reach the highest standards for themselves. Because they expect so much of themselves, perfectionists tend to procrastinate because they fear that they may not meet the high standards they set for themselves. They believe that they could have excelled if they had tried hard. What has Homer said about failing? He said, you tried your best and failed miserably. The lesson is never try. Now, cold canvassing causes stress and fills me with dread. I fear that even if I try my best, I still won't get the required appointment. If you can see yourself in the bath role, you are a fear of failure type of procrastinator. Procrastination caused by your fear of failure is often rooted in your feeling of inferiority. You are self-critical and feels that you won't be able to complete the task satisfactorily. What can you do about this fear of failure? One point, for instance, is evaluate the worst outcome if you fail to complete the task satisfactorily. Will you be able to cope if you fail? Another way is, for instance, simple. Ask for help from someone. What does Homer Simpson think about drinking? He said, when will I learn? The answer to life's problems aren't at the bottom of the bottle. They are on TV. It would appear that procrastinators drink more than they tend to do. One of the reasons is that they cope with their emotional state and anxiety by numbing themselves from the reality. They believe that if you drink enough, you will forget about the pressing tasks. But avoiding or putting it off in this way leads to further emotional stress, causing procrastinators to consume more alcohol than other drinkers. Most alcoholics tend to procrastinate or use other avoidance behaviors as escape routes. Agreeing with Homer Simpson, it's not okay to lose, he said, son, this is the only time I'm ever gonna say this. It's not okay to lose. Why allow procrastination to rob you of the fulfilled and happy life you are destined for? You can overcome procrastination by accepting that you need to take action. A habit can be changed by starting right now and doing it bit by bit. Click on the link below the video for more information.